Hey, and welcome back to Ancient Ways for Modern Days. My name is Mike Freeman. I'm the pastor at Valley Christian Fellowship in Longview, Washington. And this podcast is a podcast where we just walk through the New Testament chapter by chapter, not examining every verse of every chapter, but really focusing in on one aspect, one one passage of each chapter. And so today we find ourselves, as we continue in this journey, we are in Luke chapter 17. And I want to just look at a, a short passage in Luke chapter 17. And, and let me set the stage by, by asking you uh, what what it is that, that you and I, what, what we should feel like we deserve from the Lord, from, for the service we offer to him, for the, the service we render to the Lord? Uh, should we, we be anticipating great gratitude from the Lord for the ways we've served him faithfully over the years? Should we be expecting great blessing even right now for the ways we do things that, that uh, strive to honor him? Um, we can kind of get into a mindset where that's how we think about life and how we think about service and how we think about our relationship with the Lord. And listen, our relationship with the Lord, it is based on his grace and his love for us. It is actually, it's not based on on how good we've been or what we have earned. It's just him showing his grace and mercy through the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. But in that, you and I, we, we now have the, the opportunity to serve him because of his goodness to us. And we got to be careful. I, I think this passage reminds us, we have to be careful not to, not to put ourselves in a place of expecting certain behavior from the Lord uh, that elevates us and diminishes him. Let, let me show you what I mean. If you were to open up into the scripture, Luke 17, here, here's what we have, starting in verse 7 says, uh, Jesus speaking, will any one of you who has a servant plowing or keeping sheep say to him when he has come in from the field, come at once and recline at the table. Will he not rather say to him, prepare supper for me and dress properly and serve me while I eat and drink and afterward you will eat and drink. Does he thank the servant because he did what was what was commanded so you also when you have done all that you were commanded say we are unworthy servants we have only done what was our duty now this is uh this is an interesting perspective because we live in a me focused culture we live in a a culture that is saturated with selfishness where we are we're trained without realizing it to, to want what we want expect what we want expect and and really have an entitlement that that life should work the way we want it to and others should consider us um, even if we're not considering them but we, we have to remember <clears throat> when we when we come before the Lord he is the Lord now, let me say that again. When we come before the Lord, he is the Lord. Does he call us friends? Yes. Are, are we called brothers with Christ? Yes. Will we share in the inheritance of all things? Yes. But, but listen, he is the Lord. And so in those moments when we receive the blessings, those spiritual blessings that will last for all eternity, we, we should never have this perspective where we say, yeah, this seems about right. I, I'm getting what I, what, what I deserve. I'm getting what the Lord owes to me. <laughs> no, actually, our heart posture should be one that says, I'm a humble servant. I'm doing what I was commanded to do. We should not be patting ourselves on the back, even on this life, saying, look at how special, look at how good I am, look at how, how awesome I have done, and now the Lord owes me something. And in fact, when we have opportunities to serve, opportunities to bless, opportunities to give, whatever it looks like in, our, in the variety of lives that we all live, we, we don't say, look at me, look, look. hey, everybody. Come, come here. I want to show you myself. And, uh, and, and, you know, Lord, Lord, look at me. You, you, should, uh, you should bless me even more. Look at how much I'm doing for you. In fact, look at the text again. We are unworthy servants. We have only done what was our duty. This is, this is an attitude. This is a mindset that is 
founded on a proper understanding that it's by grace that we're accepted. It's not by our own merit. It's not by our own worth. It's not by our own work. And But it's by Christ and what he has done. Now, I actually think this is a very freeing way to live. Because when we live this way, we no longer are living for our own selfish designs. Instead, we, we are freed by the mercies of God to present ourselves as living sacrifices, holy and acceptable. And, and you know what that looks like? It looks like saying, God, I will do whatever you want me to do, and I'm going to do it the best I can. Because I know I'm simply an unworthy servant who has been lavished with mercy and grace because of your rich love. And so we do the hard things. So, so we serve in moments where, where it's thankless, where we, where we strive and do things that no one notices and no one says a word about, and yet we know the Lord sees, and then we look to the Lord, and we know that he will reward us greatly, and yet our response is to say, I'm an unworthy servant. I'm just doing what I'm commanded. I'm just living by your grace and your mercy. This is the ancient way for our modern day. And today, the ancient way for our modern day, it's to see ourselves not with despair or self-pity or, or self-disgust. Disgust. I'm an unworthy servant. I have nothing to, nothing to contribute. No, no, no. No. It's to recognize the fullness of the blessing of the gospel of Jesus that's been poured out on your life, not because of a single thing you and I have done. And then, then, to freely serve, saying, I'm an unworthy servant. I'm, I'm just doing what I've been commanded. I hope this challenges you. I, I hope this leads you to serve the Lord in, in difficult ways, not looking for accolades, not looking for thanks or gratitude, but, but simply looking to be a faithful servant based upon his faithfulness to you. And we'll see you again tomorrow.